Hello everybody, my name is Retex and welcome back to Star Sector. Of course, with our pirate run, our fleet is currently quite battered, but we have just finished taking down not one, but two large trade convoys, allowing us to get tons of cargo, which we can sell for a nice tasty profit with do a little bit of smuggling. And I was thinking, do I just want to go to the nearest base and dump all this for a bit of cash, or should I actually look into the best place to sell these goods? And it just so happens, with me being extremely lucky and being a YouTuber, it just seems to be go hand in hand, that it's actually the same place. Uh, if I look over here, you'll see there's a place called Grim Bullen, which I definitely just butchered, which has demand for weapons. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. What about this, though? Oh, Grim Bullen also requires heavy machinery, and they also need 1,500 supplies at increased cost. So, yeah, everybody, I can't believe it myself, but we can quickly go over here. It's literally just here. And make a lot of money. I think uh, after that, though, we're going to go out and see if we can get ourselves some maybe some more trade caravans. And then we'll head back to our main system and repair our giant navy, which is just sat in storage right now. It's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, let's quickly get rid of all this. I love, by the way, the UI for selling stuff in this game. It is very easy to do exactly what you want to do at quick notice. Although it is a bit strange sometimes. But apart from that, we just made ourselves 700k. I'm definitely happy with that. I probably should as well gather some fuel before we head off and maybe some crew because we have some new ships we captured last episode which puts over the minimum crew level. So got to be a little bit careful there. But apart from that, let's head over towards uh, the actual outer space. Can I have killed that guy? Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's okay. It is what it is. So I don't think there's any more traders in this system right now. I think I should probably do a scan just in case. No, I don't think there's anybody here. So we're going to hyperspace, so we'll see if we can find more traders. Though, i got to say, our fuel's a bit low right now. So we want to be a little bit careful of that. Okay, so see we've got a mercenary right there. We'll ignore him for now. Oh, don't do that. Let me see if we can find some traders. Nice, we actually just paid off our debt, by the way, as well. So we ain't got to worry about losing troops or anything, or crew when we go back to port. Which is always pretty handy. Ah! Aha! There it is. Okay, nice. So we found ourselves an eagle. I... That's not bad, is it? What we'd probably do with this one. Let's go and deploy. Probably don't need that many ships, actually. Uh, let's do me, eagle, these guys. See how it goes. So he might be a little bit of a problem, depending on what he's got on his ship, but it should be okay. Also, I'm pretty sure I can kill these frigates with my uh, little fighter wings at this point. Unless he just stands there and gets himself killed. It's a shame this gunship hasn't got um, any... Oh, are you okay? That's not a good matchup, my friend. Don't do that. <laughs> That's, don't, no. Back up, man. Back up. Oh, things are not going well for me. It's okay. It's okay. If we can get rid of his flux, it's not a problem. It didn't work. Okay, never mind. Back up, back up. We've got a bit better, I'm not going to lie. We can still push through, though. I do have to remember that I'm using the most squidgy ship in the universe, so it's not brilliant. Can you guys go and kill that lasher? That'd be a better way of doing it. Okay, let's take this guy down. I'm not getting a missile anywhere near that van. We get to kill him with guns. Ah, which we have right now. Perfect. At least the suppression guns are pretty good, though. They're doing a lot of, like, long-term damage from miles away. She might have even got the rail gun. It's literally called rail gun. I think it'd be a way better fit. We got this. We got this. I think this is probably worthy of a torpedo. I messed up. I was hoping it would have overloaded them, but it didn't work out. But we are in, though. My guys can do the rest. We need... We need... I will get rid of these. As soon as we can, we will replace these fellas. Come on, guys. A bit risky, but I'm not actually going to have my shield up because uh, my flux is a bit problem. So close to dying. Come on, guys, keep pushing. Ah, are you okay? No, he's not okay. Uh, deploy back up. Helps on the way, buddy. Helps on the way. Ah, 
I may actually be too late. Normally when a ship starts to go, they just die. So it's a bit scary, to say the least. But we have killed the, that guy. Us. Okay, this way, everybody. So if we head down to the Eagle, I probably would have saved myself more resources deploying more ships at the start of the battle there, but it's okay. Uh, you can stay, by the way, now. Stay in the battle. It's a, it's a big boy. He'll be fine. Let's use a uh, fast forward mode. We get over there as soon as possible. Okay, let's do this. I've only got one of these left. Let's get a bit closer first before we use it. That should hit, I think. Come on! Yes. Torpedoes away! Ah, oh, beautiful! Okay, that enemy is dead. Excellent work. Even this other guy is so far away. Oh, are they fighting a... Um, oh, they're fighting a phase ship. It should be okay, actually, because they do have the... Yeah, they killed it. Good. They did have those uh, heavy fighters, which are pretty awesome. So those guys are all out of the way. Let's do a little um, attack mission. Ah, oh, one of them escaped, but it's okay. The guy that escaped wasn't very good anyway. Cool, so we got ourselves a ballistic range finder, which I know we actually managed to use last time. It's very situational. And another prisoner, pretty cool. They call that. Oh, there's also a Diable Avionic Commerce Fleet, which we go over that way as well. Do I want to wait a little bit though? Let's stalk it. Let's stalk it a little bit, shall we? I want to get through this uh, repair for a second. Oh, actually, I say all this, everybody. We have a little bit of a problem with fuel. Screw it. Let's go for it. Oh, no, the fuel is not going to be enough. Nice. It doesn't know I'm hostile, by the way, because I'm actually um, not award them in the first place. And also got no transponder. So, hi. If I can kill these guys and grab these um, battle carriers, that would be absolutely amazing. Give it a shot, shall we? So, probably do not want to be deploying my frigates, at least at the start, because the mechs will probably just wipe them out in a few seconds. Are you okay? He's okay, good. I'm a bit concerned about how we're going to work against these fellas here. Oh, it seems to be going pretty well. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, this is great. It literally teleported next to me, so I'm just going to kill it. Although my flux is a bit of a problem. Finish it off, guys. Finish it, please. No, oh, it's getting away. I'm being murdered by work. These mechs are absolutely wrecking me. I need help. <laughs> Somebody help me. Oh, no, I really am in trouble. I cannot deal with this. I really need some help. Help me. <laughs> Somebody help me. Um... Yeah, mechs are terrifying, especially when your ship's really bad at fighting. Um, in close range. Oh, we survived. Oh, that was a bit terrifying. Okay, well, I lost most of my armor there, but to be fair, I only had armor to survive like a, a wasp thing anyway. Okay, so we got the enemies. What we do? You guys move in and start engaging properly. I'm a bit concerned about that matchup over there, so I might send you to go and help. Let's do this. Apart from me nearly being killed by a mech, <laughs> we should be okay now. Let's send the rest in. Oh, it's going to be a torpedo run, run on a carrier. going to be pretty cool. They can't dodge this. There's no way. Go! Ah, oh, I was hoping my missile might have overloaded it before I got there, but it didn't work out. Whoa, dude, defend yourself, man. Defend yourself. Uh, yeah, it's terminates a little bit crazy sometimes, um, like right now. <laughs> it kind of got that guy wrecked, but it's fine. Oh, that didn't overload him? Crazy. My guys are doing some good damage, though. He should go down in a second. 
I gotta be really careful because this guy might absolutely wreck me if he gets too close. So you have a long range torpedo hit. As far as he took that, I would have just taken the turn the shield off. It's over though. Remember guys, don't blow him up. Damage him slightly. Okay, well, um, <laughs> that's not slight whatsoever. Ah, oh, I was hoping I could kill him with a torpedo. <laughs> That'd be pretty impressive though, killing your enemies with a torpedo. So we've got this guy left. Apparently, um, he's winning against my cruiser there, which is not the best ship in the world. The Falcon should be able to kill it though. I am very far away. Uh, let's speed things up a little bit, shall we? Looking good, looking good. I can't believe this Falcon still just has two tactical lasers. <laughs> it needs some better weapons, let's put it that way. Done. Uh, that went pretty well. We, do we lost a few things here and there, but it wasn't the end of the world. Uh, let's deploy a few ships to chase them down. That didn't work at all. That was a disaster. <laughs> Damn it, guys. You had one mission. I'm oh, pretty well. Let's head... Do you know what? Double tap, double tap. Nope. Don't you dare. Okay, move on. Let's just send a few more of our guys again. Surely this time they cannot fail me. Excellent. <laughs> Good. Or they would have been executed for incompetence. Enemy down. So let's head back towards... I think at this point, let's head back towards our glorious home base. Which is over there. We will fly there. Because uh, in case we find any more stuff on the way, you never know. Such as a uh, Volkov Industry Grand Investment Fleet. You might find one of those. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can... Oh, this is a big fleet, though. I think we'll be okay. It's mostly just being cautious about the cruisers. Yeah, these two might be a problem. The rest of the ships we can hopefully just kill. Uh, let's deploy everybody. And uh, what we do... Let's go and deploy over to Comrie Day. We'll wait for them to show up, and then we'll split our stuff up. So is my eagle okay now? It's okay, perfect. I'm so slow. <laughs> the slowest vessel the world's ever seen. I haven't seen any of them yet. They, ha they have like, what was it, four frigates and one destroyer as well, so we may have a little bit of problem with that. I think it should probably be a full send as well, because we definitely want to make sure we kill these guys without any losses. They're really fast, this enemy, though. It's going to be a pain to catch them. Oh, nice. My gunship might kill it. Come on. No, it's back up. It's still going, though. No, it was so... That's going to run away, though. That, that guy's out of the battle. Uh, so we have, uh, whatever this thing is, just spamming missiles at us from behind, and that's it at the moment. We'll keep... Guys, go back. Go back to defense. Yep, guys. <laughs> They're like, no! <laughs> I will annoy your orders. Okay, here comes the two big boys. I think it's time, everybody. Apply the Navy. In the Navy. So, how do we want to deal with this? Probably... For now... We'll get these guys quickly gank that ship to get out of the way. Uh, we'll probably try and just defend the location to stay in the same group. Because I think if we split up, they're going to kill us. They're very fast. I don't even know where that thing... What, what even was that? <laughs> okay, cool. They killed that guy already. So let's start actually attacking, shall we? I'm trying to think what one do I want to go for. There's a missile cruiser and the a razor cruiser. That one sounds a bit more dangerous if you ask me. So let's go for that one. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, I'm in a razor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Sounds like a good pastime. Uh, wolf pack though. Just go and roundly gank frigates. You'll be fine. No, it don't. Oh, it's oh no no no! It's trying to erase me. Somebody help me. Uh, be a bit careful there, buddy. You seem to be getting a bit close to the, uh... Oh, out the way, out the way, out the way, out the way. Out the way, out the way, out the way. You're just in the way. On purpose. What, you're, he's matching my key movements. How does he know this? It's a sentient AI. It's like, ah, 
Player, move this way. Move here first. I need more torpedoes, game. Give me the torpedo, 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 torpedo! No, it dodged it. Okay. Well, I need to die in the process there. I blame all of that on the Falcon. And I may die in the process. Uh, can I get some help, please? <laughs> I need assistance, please. Do you know what? Yes, I need assistance. Uh, I really do need help. Somebody help me. I can't even tank a frigate. I... Somebody, please. No. They're coming. We have killed that big ship, though. Somehow. <laughs> help has arrived. Very brave flux. Yeah, they're out of there. At least we nearly killed that guy, though. Oh, we lost the wolf. What happened to you? <laughs> it flew into a missile. Not the best idea. Oh, to be fair, those missiles are pretty terrifying. I'm not going to discount that guy. Did you kill that? He did do it. Okay, ignore that. Everyone engage. Oh, actually, don't worry about it. Just kill your nearest enemy. You'll be fine. If I can get, like, a lucky torpedo hit from miles away. Nearly. It definitely helped. There you go. Null sec fatal error. Okay, well, um, well, 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 everybody, it seems that I have found the most powerful ship in all of Star Sector. This missile cruiser right here is amazing. It controls time, space, and even my computer by having the ability to crash it whenever it is defeated in battle, making it literally invincible. Because no matter what I do, I can never say I've actually defeated that vessel. Because it just isn't actually possible. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know why this game is cursed. Uh, well, I say game. I think mean, particularly this ship is cursed. I don't know if it's the loadout it has or something. Because um, I've been fighting against this faction before. But i got to say, I can't remember ever actually killing this missile cruiser before. So maybe I just got lucky and never came across it. But yeah, I can't kill that fleet. It's invincible. Um, so I'm sorry, guys. These supplies and heavy armaments will have to go unplundered for now. Anyway, moving on. Let's hopefully, they, hopefully we get a situation where there's a fleet without that ship inside. Uh, ooh. Oh, no, we'll leave that one. I decided as well that I, I can't be bothered to attack traders without good materials. If I get, like, 2,000 food, I'm making, like, 10 grand, guys. It's not worth it. Um, ah, that one. They have two cursed cruisers. No, thank you. Hopefully, I don't know if this is a bug, though. If someone can replicate the bug with this mod set, with that ship being broken, that's a big problem. <laughs> someone should probably look into that. Anyway, let's keep going, shall we? So we actually arrived back at our glorious home base. Which is always nice to see. Um, ooh. ooh. Delivering fuel. Guys, we need fuel. Wait, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. We're going to cheat. Give me a second. We're cheating. I'm ready for it. Oh, the, the game. <laughs> Calm down, game. Ready for it. Why, hello there. Nice weather we're having. Sorry, it's a very British thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, there's not even any weather in the space in the first place. It's a, it's not, it's literally, well, I guess there technically could be, but I mean, like, not really, like, changing weather like England. But anyway, moving on. Um, okay, my glorious navy, which I'm probably going to replace in the ne next ten minutes. It's okay, let's go forward. Uh, we've got sets of jammers, nav boys. Oh, there's some pretty decent ones we can grab at the moment. I, I, I still don't really bother with this fella, but one day it might be useful. You never know. Well, I probably, it definitely comes less useful the higher you increase the battle limit to. <laughs> Mine's only got 800, though. I feel like that's pretty tamed. Excellent. We have more range than before. Okay, so we found a few enemies. Question is, how do we want to kill them? Um, I say we just go for the, the hammer. We just go down the middle. We kill these ships. We take them down. Leave no man behind. Um, let's see. This guy's going to be pretty susceptible to this attack right now. Let's go and give it a shot. Hopefully he doesn't back up before I can get... Oh, wait. It's not working. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. There's too many of them too close. They can kill my beautiful mechs. No, guys. Don't do it. It's too dangerous. I told them. <laughs> I warned them. Wait, actually, they are doing it. They are actually pulling through. I reckon we can torpedo the thunder if I get close enough. 
Uh, I was hoping that... Where did my missile go? <laughs> where did the missile go? It just vanished somewhere. We never see it again. Um, oh, this is interesting. So you can definitely solo that guy. You can definitely solo that guy. Uh, we also got a defense mission over here. Um, what we do, we split up some of our dudes. Uh, you two, go and gank that vigilance over there. And I want to see probably a joint attack on this eagle. If we get our two cruisers to move in, I reckon we can pull this off. Okay, guys. Go, go, go! Dude, you're in the way. You're not many, but you're not in the strategy, man. Get out the way. No, you're you're making it work. What are you doing? <laughs> if you die, it's your fault, okay? You've caused this situation. Your own incompetence is the reason this is happening to you. Okay, good. We're, we're through that situation. It's fine. Oh, be careful, because that brawler could kill me. We are we are very weak. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought I got it. Guys, I'm so sorry. I thought I landed an amazing torpedo hit there, but it didn't work out. I gotta be very careful because my um, frigate-sized shield is not gonna hold out for long. Fire! Oh yes! No! Where are you going? That's not the mission, man. Okay, he's gone. But regardless of that, we have got to the point where we are king this guy, so all good. Although somebody is in my way. Do you want me to launch torpedo up your ass? Because I will, man. You're in the way. Get out the way. I'll nudge him. I'll give him a tactical nudge. I'm not going to spend any more torpedoes. This guy is cooked. Okay. Excellent. Good job, everybody. Um, okay, so we're currently around here. We're going to do exactly the same thing again, and we're going to push towards the Falcon, which is our last remaining good ship. We've also got the Sunder, which is probably not going to be too great. Uh, what I'll probably do with this, we're going to do a little engage mission, and we're going to reassign a few feathers, specifically those two, and they can take care of that. And I think apart from that, we should be good to go, to be honest, guys. I think we're looking pretty good here. I guess there is also this monitor, but it's whatever. <laughs> Someone will kill that at some point. What are you doing, man? Back up. You're not going to make it. Those are some very close. Those are some very danger close walls right there. Ooh. 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 Ah, oh, I thought my missile was going to hit him. Is he running away, guys? You reckon he's getting out of there? I like how my random suppression gun happens to kill missiles sometimes. <laughs> That's not the intention of the gun, but it just happens to work that way. We're a bit too far away, aren't we? I don't know why you guys are going up if you're trying to move somewhere else, but it's okay. Uh, what we probably should do, actually, let's uh, take you off that mission. And we'll assign you to instead, just to get there as fast as possible. Um, that's looking pretty good, though. They're getting pretty close. I'll take that. Get my, my gunship back. Ooh. I'm very maneuverable, by the way, when I have my <laughs> my jets on. As you probably would expect, because they are maneuvering jets. They should definitely increase maneuverability. Oh, I don't like this. It's, ooh. I can just witness these walls messing up at one point. They're going to get themselves killed. I'm trying to keep up with this Falcon, but it is very fast. What happened to you, man? Because I'm pretty sure these ships are taking damage for no reason, by the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's because they keep dropping their defenses for no reason and just getting, like, whacked. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking most of the time. It's okay. We just need some really, really high-quality ships instead of these uh, basic ones. They're about to run out of room at this point. They're putting back so far, they're actually about to get to the top left of the map. So after that, we should be good to go. Ah, good, we're in range. Okay, guys, go, go, go. We're going for it. We're going for it. Oh, the missile took a weird path. I oh, know he's going to get away. Oh, no. Do the damage, men. Come on. I believe in you. Okay, we're a bit too slow to keep up with that Falcon. But that wolf is doing some damage there. Come on, guys. Keep hurting it. Try to fast the vessel. Leave! No, he got out of that. Never mind. <laughs> but I didn't make him go closer to my allies, though. That kind of worked out. If that's a good idea, though, I don't really know. But it still seems like it worked out. Come on, guys. You can kill it. It's the most slow, annoying ship <laughs> we have. Come on, guys. Go faster. Come on, finish it off. 
so close. Yes, we've done it. Perfect. Enemy down. Looks like we've lost a lot of... Sh oh, have we lost ships or they just need dead? One of the two things are happening here. <laughs> There's some bad times for somebody. Excellent. So at least with the, a lot of the cruisers I have captured, they are just fast ships. They're probably faster than these guys with more guns. So we should have a lot of good options in the future. Done. I okay, am pretty well. I don't think we lost a ship. Oh, we did lose a ship. We lost a brawler. But that guy was already had 4D mods, so he was pretty much doomed in the first place. That's okay, in my opinion. Uh, let's do a pursue command, and we'll just hopefully get these guys to track down the remaining enemies. And they got nearly all the freighters. That's okay. I don't want these ships. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm fine. Although, yeah, I believe him. Screw it. It's fine. Um, I, I'm not going to spend a story point, sir. To recover a nearly broken frigate. That's not working out for me. Ah! Perfect. Fuel. That's what I wanted anyway. So we got ourselves some more fuel and whatnot. And also it means we could probably teleport into a place which is closer to our home world, saving me like 10 seconds of time. Ah, my eyes! <laughs> ah, my brain! Wait, what's that? Is this there something below us? Is that another merchant fleet? <gasps> Supplies! Heavy machinery! Oh, yes. No. No. Come back. I need to talk to you. That's not really helping, man. Oh, I don't want to go through the, the horrors of the... What does... What, what did that game... Oh, I got hit even though I got at speed 5. Whatever, whatever. I don't care. Um... Did they get back up from the other one? No, we're good. Okay, so this guy's got a um, standard cruiser. If this is any good, I might actually switch over to this, because uh, I do have problems with our current carry, I'm not going to lie. Um, ooh. Interesting. I, I haven't seen many of these guys' ships yet, so I'm kind of excited to see what they're like. Let's deploy the squad. These guys have what we need anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I deploy. We're going to make a profit on this one, I think, probably. <laughs> Unless I lose all my cruisers, you never know. It might happen. Oh yeah, it's like the same size as my ship, but it's a combat version. I want it! Give it to me! Oh. Um, let's deploy ye old wolf squad as well. There's only four of them left now, though. <laughs> They're not as numerous as they were before, let's put it that way. Okay. It's got a radar or something, that's pretty cool. Uh, we probably should do a little engage mission. Um, do you know what? We leave it. We leave it. We let them do their own thing. As long as they didn't spend their time. Oh, that, <laughs> that was not the missile, the shield missile, everybody. That was a torpedo. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, he's got some. He's got some bang behind his back there. Um, what happened there? Oh, I pressed the. Oh, wrong button. Okay, wolf pack. Go and kill that random frigate. We're going to do an engage mission over here, and we're going to send Unit 1 and 2 on it. We're just going to focus on the in this big ship. If we surround it with so many allies, it falls. It would be fine. I like it's got this, um, like, black, the Battlestar Galactica flak, where it's, like, around the area. I love that kind of stuff. Such a cool, that's such a cool TV show, by the way. Well, I say that, I really like the first bit of it. Not, it got a bit weird at the end. I'm not going to lie, guys. There was some, like robot gods and stuff. I don't know what's happening. But uh, <laughs> when it was fighting, I liked the fighting everybody. I kind of wish they remade the original, which was based on the city when they had a war and there was like people fighting each other. Way more my kind of thing, but it is what it is. Ooh, we can finish that if I get a little bit close. Oh! That didn't seem that bad. I might, What if it's an anti-shield weapon? Yes, is the answer to that. Good job, guys. You killed something. Uh, let's also do a another mission on that destroyer. I reckon we can swarm it with the power of love and also destroyers. Hey, okay, that wolf pack should appear. Okay, kill that guy for me. Perfect. Oh, we're a bit far away, which is a bit scary for my artillery cruiser over there. Okay, guys, go for it. We're going to go for it. Move, move, move! Go, gunship! It's too fast for me to hit with a torpedo, I think, unless I'm really close. Believe! Oh, yeah! 
Oh, <laughs> that was so close. I thought I missed it for a second, but we clipped it. We got him in the end. I don't think you want to be messing with the power of my mechs, sir. Oh. Guys, you're on engage mode. Go and attack them. <laughs> Believe! No! Oh. <laughs> my dreams are ruined, everybody. Oh, I'm pretty well. We didn't lose anybody, I don't think. I mean, I think we took a little bit of damage from somewhere, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, pursuit. Let's send off the, the fellas to go and wipe out the enemies. Ah, oh, that how did that escape game? <laughs> Tell me. I know the sir, the, the heavy cruiser with no engine working escaped. It floated out of the battlefield and we couldn't keep up with it. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we actually can get their destroyer. And also a freight. Oh, I'm not interested in the freighter. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yes. I think that's worth the capture. And probably these guys, this guy as well. We probably we'll put, we'll put that in the long term recovery. But we'll do it at some point. Okay, we got. Oh, look at. Yes, everybody. Yes. It's. Yes. Ah. Oh. The beauty. Oh, we had to double tap, by the way, because these mothball things probably aren't carrying anything, but that other freighter is. So we just make sure we kill this guy. Game. Ga game. Game. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Don't let them get away again. Oh, my. Yes, this is pretty. Even got a few more weapons as well. That went pretty well. I'm going to take that as a super win, everybody. Uh, that went very, very well. That's half me flying into a storm at the end. Uh, let's teleport back into... Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, before I go off, what does this guy have? All food and organics. No, thank you, sir. That is awful. What are you doing? We're meant to be friends, man. We're meant to be friends. Let's go, in, let's go in here. Okay, so now we're going to start Operation uh, Armada, which is going to result in us repairing everything. It's going to be amazing. So we got enough supplies anyway. Uh, I probably shouldn't sell them until we go somewhere we can s make a profit with them. It does seem like this uh, Mock Morid place is a good place to head to at some point. Uh, oh, I don't care about that one. I care about the weapons. Yeah, Mock Morid is a good place to go. We I don't know how... We'll probably have to double check before we go there what kind of place it actually is. Because it may be like a um, military base, which would be very hard to get inside if it is. But we'll have to see. Anyway, anywho. My pirate brethren, I have arrived. So, we, what day is it, by the way? It is the 25th. Okay, that's pretty good. So I want to repair stuff, everybody. So what I'm going to do... This is perfect. This is amazing. Okay. Repair docks. Repair my missile cruiser and my new uh, battle cruiser, whatever it's called. Um, you go into storage, my friend, until later on. We're going to camp here for a few days, everybody. We're going to chill for a little bit. We're going we're gonna to let my guys hit the bars and stuff. Let's uh, store the weapons we have. We have a lot of weapons at this point. It's looking pretty good for us. And we do a little bit of a fleet refit, everybody. We'll see how it goes with that. And yes, guys, did I mention it before? I don't have the alt thing enabled, okay? Look, your game's different than mine. I can't be bothered to change the settings. This literally took me 10 seconds. It's not a problem. Um, let's see. Put you guys over there. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to bother hanging on to... Oh, no, Mock Morid has the power of income. We'll leave all this in my inventory. Besides, we've got so much stuff right now when it comes to space. It's not a big deal having this stuff lying around. Anyway. Oh, I can sell it at... Um, interesting. What, what one was that? The Sindarian place. That might be worthy going over at some point. Um, okay, so maybe we should just wait a few days and we'll come back. Because I don't want to equip any ships until we can actually see the ships working. So uh, what I'll probably do is do a quick rapid smuggle. Oh, it's right next to the other place, though. Am I going to be able to get inside? Let's have a quick look. You know what? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. We'll just wait for literally three days. It'll be fine. <laughs> it won't take me long anyway. Yeah, so I want to change over quite a few of my ships. We'll probably try and phase out some of the... Well, we can't do it in one month. We'll probably have to do it over time. Because what I'll do, now i got some money, I'll leave the other ships in the repairing bay to get repaired over time. Probably make a lot of money in the process, but it should be okay. Yeah, so I want to replace some of these uh, Eagle, Eagles, Falcons, and the Artillery Cruiser. I don't think they're working that well. Um, wait, where is that ship? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say, it's gone. <laughs> it's vanished. So, 
Let's do this, shall we? I'm also going to do a quick save now, in case I get distracted by the amount of time I spend making ship designs. I should normally be okay. I don't spend too much time going through things, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, so we now have ourselves our brand new working ships. I think for next month, what we'll do, storage take. Let's repair, because we've got six slots a month, right? So let's give them... What do you want to give them? What do I want to give them? Let's go for the Fury. Very good ship, I think. Do you know what? Let's go for the Fury, and let's go for this fella. What is this? The Sky. They can be the next one we do. Do you know what, guys? I'm probably going to stay... I'm probably going to leave this space for a while with other stuff, aren't I? So maybe we should just give them... <laughs> I have no fear. I will accept the horrific amounts of debt that this may occur, and I will move on with my life. Done, everybody. We are now on a death switch. If I do not make enough money in a short amount of time, I will go bankrupt forever. <laughs> I will get millions of pounds of debt. It's okay. So, I'm happy with that. I'm pretty cool we got a new cruiser and stuff, and we've also got ourselves a new whatever this thing is. This is a missile cruiser. So, let's have a look, shall we? I may have a problem as I just spent the rest of the video designing ships. And then after I did that, I wasn't happy with them and spent another half an hour designing them again afterwards. So <laughs> I decided to cut that out. Instead, we can go for a little quick summary of what I've done to my fleet. I think it'd be a lot more fun for people watching and people could still see what I do with my ship. So I got to say before I do anything though, because this series is me using loot, I have got all these ships from fighting somebody. I have got all the weapons on the ships from fighting somebody. It means that I have some very random ship designs to create and a lot of different things that need to go together to make ships actually work. So there's a lot, that's why it's a bit of a complicated and long affair creating and designing new ship designs. But anyway, apart from that, let's go into it, shall we? So I have pretty much changed every single ship I have um, in some capacity. Well, no, I say that, this guy, he's just a shuttle. I didn't care about this guy anymore. But <laughs> most ships have been changed in some way. Actually, I say that, I forgot to do this one. Give me a second, guys. I like the Mining Blaster, but when it comes to an AI, I'd rather he had a Pulse Laser, just so he does more sustained damage. But anyway, my new Pirate Flagship, it's pretty sexy if you can see so yourself. Now, this guy's got a lot of choices. This is a very modular kind of ship. You've got so many Blistic mounts, you've got loads of missile mounts, you can pretty much make this thing to whatever you want it to be, which I kind of love, by the way. Um, now, as you can see, I got a bunch of random stuff here. So quickly, I'll go through. I've got three different things with the ship that's going on with it right now. Okay, guys. So we got the missiles. The missiles are mostly long range or supporty missiles. Now, the idea behind this is, is that wherever I am in the battlefield, my missiles will be reaching something. So even if I'm like um, attacking a dude, my missiles might fly off and help an ally after I killed them. That kind of thing. So I got a bunch of long range support missiles with no ammo limit, so they can always fire. As well as salamanders, so I'm pretty much always annoying or attacking something even if I'm nowhere nearby. Now for the actual combat when I'm actually fighting somebody myself we have a different situation. So you can see I got two sets of guns here. So I got myself the main bit guys at the front which are a bunch of anti-armor slash anti-hole weapons. Now these guys are pretty awesome. So I got myself I should quickly explain why this is happening. These guys actually have the same range. Now normally they won't but I've actually found a use for the first time, <laughs> for the Ballistic Rangefinder. This little hole mod that I kept reading last series, I've actually found a ship that it works really well with. So this guy, if you have a large ballistic weapon slot, increases the range of the small ones by 200 and the mediums by 100 up to a range of 900. So like, what are you on about, man? Well, normally this gun would have a range of 700. Now it's 900, which means I have found myself a set of weapons where I have three anti-armor weapons that have a 900 range and three anti-shields, which aren't affected by this, by the way, with a range of a thousand. So I can actually, if I want to, attack the enemy's shields at range while keeping my distance, normally out of range of their weapons, because they won't have a thousand range normally. And when I actually get enough uh, damage to get the kill, I can move in and use my anti-hole weapons, which are an anti-armor, which are very, very good, by the way, and quickly kill anybody nearby. Now, that's the basic for this ship. What we're going to do, we're going to go inside and we're going to see how it does. I already know it's, it works pretty well, though there are a few things I do need to change at some point, and it also will get better over time. Now, unlike most AI I'm fighting, because my character is mostly based off fleet and industrial skills at the moment, I have not got a lot going for me when it comes to fighting in combat with my skills. So the AI actually has an advantage, advantage over me. 
Now, if you'll see in a second. Begin the shooting! <laughs> now, one thing I definitely want to change at some point, I can't do right now, is I want to get myself some extended shields. Because right now, this is the same problem with my last ship I used, is this is a big glaring issue right here. I can get flanked even slightly, I will be hit from the side. And this ship has not got a lot of armor at all. It cannot take many hits whatsoever. Now you kind of see right there, I did a lot of damage without really even looking at what I was doing. This guy has a lot of damage going for it. I just got to be careful not being overwhelmed with like mechs or anything, but it should be okay. I think this guy works pretty well. And also he's got this thing, maneuvering jets. I can be very, very fast if I want to be. And his normal speed without these jets is 138. That's, wait, that's not the normal speed, is it? What am I talking about? 88. That's pretty damn fast for a ship, everybody. I'm pretty happy with this guy. So this could be my main combat ship. You guys know I love fighting in person anyway, so this is definitely a ship for me. Anyway, moving on. So I've actually done a little bit of a change with... Let's do this one first. This guy is the missile cruiser. Now, I did actually have a little bit of a problem with this guy with the AI being a bit stupid. Um, for some reason, he continually just decided to go into close range despite all his weapons being long range and then venting in front of his enemies, which ended up with him dying a lot. I don't know why that was even happening. So instead, I gave him some different build-ups and stuff. Uh, he's got a lot of missiles, as you can tell. And he's actually got a cautious personality, so he doesn't just go and commit suicide every time he sees anything on the battlefield, which I think is a pretty good idea. Now, this guy has two inbuilt missile launchers and a micro forge, so he actually can replenish missiles in the heat of battle. So it makes him perfect, of course, for actually being... A missile cruiser which is literally why it's a missile cruiser <laughs> believe it or not it's pretty simple in the end of the day anyway so apart from all that this guy has a lot of missiles already he's got a bunch of suppression ones this does actually say it's anti-fighter though it doesn't seem to use it against fighters at all despite my many testings it actually uses it against Ships and shields, which actually works great. It, it does a lot of damage against shields, so it's actually pretty handy. Uh, so yeah, it shoots a lot of missiles at the enemy quickly. And once it does that, it has a backup long-range heavy armor killing gun, which can slowly kill the enemy. And it's also got harpoons that it can also use to kill enemies very quickly as well. So this guy's got a lot of anti-shield with the first few missiles, and then it's got a nice finishing and also anti-armor component to it as well. This guy does have a little bit of problem though when it comes to his build though, because these sky engineered ships have a lot of modifiers. You can see it right here. So they actually get more burn speed, better engines, more flux reserves, more vent rates, and a higher sets, lower sets profile. But at the cost of high dissipation, reduce efficiency, and sensor profile. I'm not sure what armor shield and efficiency is. Is that like... I don't know what it is, guys. Let me explain. If it was literally just saying shield and weapons, I would understand that it means it costs more flux to fire the weapons. But it has armor on there. Does that mean it's like less effective when it comes to calculations? I guess that's what it is. But regardless, this is a very stylized ship with this faction. It's a bit weird. Actually, thinking about it, guys, I might actually do... That... I, it keeps fluxing, for, it keeps venting for some reason. So maybe if I do that, it make it not vent as much. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, if we use this guy in a battle quickly. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. My heart, everybody. My heart. <laughs> I I was nearly very sad for a second there. I was like, oh no. All my work is over. Now, uh, run a simulation. Let's go against a... I don't know what to fight, really. One of these guys. Why not? This is a backline fighter, though. He is not going to be running around in the front line, hopefully. <laughs> he should be at the back shooting missiles and doing stuff. This is his, uh, mic is this his regular inbuilt stuff. They're pretty cool. They're pretty good against enemy shields and stuff. You can see this guy's already lost half of his. The other thing I probably want to approve at some point is going to be the point defense, but I can't do it right now. But yes, this guy's already pretty good when it comes to killing shields, and you'll see now he's going to start doing a lot of damage when it comes to his... Oh, the game turned off all his point defense. <laughs> not great, everybody. Not great. Apart from his issue with fighters, though, once he gets close without the issue of him being attacked by uh, enemy missiles and stuff, he should start using his mauler, and also eventually the harpoon, to quickly kill and gank any enemy he comes across. <clears throat> Quickly kill and gank any enemy. 
Fire the stupid bit. Okay, he didn't do it. The AI should normally fire those missiles, but that's a weird AI thing going on. There. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, it works pretty well. I've tested it with a few ships and it does kill them. My guy, I changed this round, I round as well. I gave him more support missiles. And I've also given him Oh, actually, that's interesting. Believe it with me. I've also given him an arc missile pod, which is a missile that spins around the enemy and does EMP damage. This would be amazing against frigates and destroyers because they won't be able to shoot it down in time. And even bigger ships, if it's overwhelmed by a much, much, bunch of missiles, it may actually turn off the engines, making it vulnerable to attack. Now, also, I've changed over the guns so it has longer range. Um, it's got two anti-shield weapons that are very long range. The idea behind this guy is still not to be in combat, though. He's going to be staying back. Now, I have also, though, given him two sets of fighters. I don't like this fighter, but it's the best fighter I have in my repertoire. I haven't really got a lot. I am going to get some bombers as well, but that would be later when I get the cruiser working because, uh, sorry, the little carrier I found because bombers kind of mess up the AI for the fighters. So I'd rather these guys chase down and kill frigates or destroyers, that kind of thing. So that's why they have two sets of fighters. Uh, next one, we got this fella. I haven't really tested him too much, but he should be okay. He's been given a bunch of, well, actual energy weapons instead of being given bad stuff. They're mostly beam based with the idea that he can fire from far away. And also he has a he has his basic dual anti-shield and one anti-armor. This should still work pretty well and probably better than before. This guy, I haven't changed. I probably won't be using him much longer. Because he had the same issue the other ship had with the AI being literally suicidal for some reason. But it is what it is. Uh, the Falcon, I've given him some iron pulses and some high velocity drivers. This guy is going to be more of a... Um, He's not going to be killing enemies, but if he can literally just annoy them to death, that would be fine by me. He can literally just take out their shields, EMP them to death, someone else can show up and try and take them down. Because this guy is very, very fast, he's one of the fast cruisers I have, I, I gave him the high velocity drivers so he can keep it range and always just continually pepper them at uh, fast intervals. Uh, this guy I gave him some basic weapons, they're just random shield stuff I had lying around, not too much, and I think that's pretty much it. That's all I've really changed at this point. Um, I hope that people like my random explanation of what I've done. <laughs> I think this will work out pretty well, if you ask me. I'm going to save again, and let's go and play the game again, shall we? Now, I do... Oh, first off, let's get rid of this, shall we? We've got loads of supplies now. Yeah, hopefully that people are okay with my little switching there. I think that's better than me going through and doing loads of tests, because I like to test my vehicles quite a lot when it comes to doing stuff. I don't want to get in a situation where I spend the entire video just doing ship designing, which is a major part of the game, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, people probably get bored if they just want to see combat. Now, first off, let's go and see if we can go over to a Grand Share and sell some of the, this it's metals to get some extra money. Now, as this place is actually going to be... Wait, what's this? A patrol. Hello there. He's like, oh, we made a mistake. <laughs> oh, I should have repaired my vessel properly before... Bit late now. It's fine. Okay, let's support our new ships, shall we? We'll see how they do. Um, yeah, support that. That'd be fine. Okay, new ship. Let's do this. So what we got? We got a Griffin. I think it's a cool Griffin, isn't it? Yes, it is. I know things, people. Sometimes. Griffin, Eagle, and a Enforcer. Let's go, missile spammers. So we'll probably see. Let's get rid of. Let's get. Let's go for this force first, shall we? It shouldn't be too hard to take care of. Oh, they got high velocity drivers. They got loads of them. <laughs> Why do they have so many? <laughs> okay, that might be a bit annoying. Actually, that could be a little bit of an annoyance. I like how my first battle involves the most annoying railgun thing <laughs> the game has. <laughs> It's fine. Best thing about this though is if we kill them, we can take them and put them on my ships later on. I can always do with more drivers. Also, best thing about this anti hull gun as well, it seems to kind of act like a PD as well for like torpedoes because it just kills anything it comes near. Oh, that wasn't good. I was trying to save myself from taking too much damage there, but it kind of did the opposite. What are my weapons though? They're not going to be very good against frigates. See, they're kind of hard, having a bit of a hard time tracking it, but they they, they hit it eventually, just so they're not that good against it. Oh, that's not good. Well, I guess I'm just going to flow around for a little bit. Don't mind me, friend. <laughs> I'll be floating right here. Oh, I'm back. 
The missiles are going working pretty well against it. Oh, that's the micro missile thing. Look how cool that is. Best thing about those missiles as well, they're energy based. They do damage against everything. It doesn't matter what it is, it will do the same amount of damage. Uh oh. Dude, you haven't got you haven't got to block those, man. Just ignore them. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's uh, get my flux down a little bit, shall we? Right, strange is insane, isn't it? That is a... Well, th there's a good weapon, that one. It is a good weapon. It always has been. I might actually could be... Good, I might be tempted, actually, to switch out my railguns with those later on. I'm not sure what one's better, actually. I have to keep an eye on that. Oh, people are dying. To a... F a phase frigate. I'm not sure what to think about that. Might need to look into that one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this missile span, though. It's so beautiful. Here comes the harpoons as well. Very nice. I love it. I love it. It works so well. Good job, missile cruiser. I love how these, like, missiles are so, like, it says anti-fighter, but they're not at all. I've not seen the AI use it against a fighter yet. <laughs> it's the worst anti-fighter missile we've ever seen. Oh, the, the amount of drivers they have is insane. Oh, that's very nice. Probably get a little bit closer. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I should have just uh, took the damage. Uh, Eagle's been overloaded as well. That's not good, is it? The Falcon and Eagle need to be replaced with better ships at some point. And also, I would say the fit's not great as well with the weapons I have on them. I need to work on that at some point. But that's a future thing we can look at. Oh, uh oh. No, no, no. Why do you have so many drop glossy drivers, man? Excellent. Okay, go, go, go. Are those missiles even going to be in range, the ones he fired? I don't know. Yes. Very nice. Okay, nice. So I think apart from that, we got this out in the bag. I think for me, though, with... Yeah, like, so I just need to find some better energy weapons. We, we are getting a lot of ballistics, but not a lot of energy. So we need to try and sort that out at some point. It's over for you. Excellent. Okay, are we done here? Nice. Cool, I'm pretty well. Some ships definitely work better than others, but like I said, we're, we're trying to improve stuff over time. Uh, let's... Ooh, that, I think. I think that... Ooh. They could use these. <laughs> if I get three of these, it'd be fine. I can't believe I didn't find a single high-velocity driver, guys. There were so many of them. How did they get away with not giving me one? Unacceptable game. Unacceptable. Anyway, everybody, that's going to be today's episode. I hope that everyone has enjoyed. Now, um... Yeah, we're going to carry on uh, tomorrow. We'll keep going. We'll hopefully start making some progress in terms of maybe getting some bases and stuff at some point. Though for now, I probably should try and focus on getting myself more weapons for our new ships being repaired. And also, we're trying to um, get some more money so we can afford to repair them all. Because there's still loads and loads of brand new ships that are currently being repaired we can use in the future. Boy, loads of them. They're everywhere. It's going to be amazing. But thank you. Goodbye and have a nice day.